Uh, welcome to a new video and a warm sunny day. This time around we want to test out the Huawei P60 Pro versus the Oppo Find X6 Pro and here are the specs of both of those devices. 48 megapixel main camera sensor, 48 megapixel telezoom with macro capabilities and a 30 megapixel ultra wide angle and a triple 50 megapixel setup on the Oppo. And then, of course, we have 32 megapixels and 13 megapixels on the front. And we start off with the front-facing camera. And like you hear it, yes, we are using the internal mics. So this is front-facing video on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. It is only 1080p, 30 frames per second. It has stabilization, even though the camera software is defaulting to non-stabilized video every time you switch to the front-facing video for some reason. But yeah, this is uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Thanks, uh, thanks to the newest update, we have also good stabilization. And I think the autofocus is working much better, but it's only 1080p, so it cannot really win against the... Um, Huawei P60 Pro that uh, yeah doesn't have autofocus like this one has autofocus you can see it is focusing here if you're interested in how to yeah install Google Apps on the P60 Pro there is a video that I did on this as well if you're interested in this just click on it uh, otherwise what do you think about the quality here of the front facing video using the internal mics and this is now the Huawei P60 Pro. Doesn't have autofocus on the front facing camera. Has also good stabilization. Wider field of view for sure. It can even go wider if I want to. And you can see a lot more. Perfect for vlogging, I would say. It can go up to 4K 60 frames per second even, which is much, much better than the 1080p 30 that you get on the Oppo. So yeah, front facing video, I think easy win for the Huawei P60 Pro. What do you think about this one here? HDR also quite good. I'm switching to the various different zoom levels that you have here one times so it's now 0.8 times by default and the widest you can use for yeah, vlogging and uh, showing people your surroundings uh, in this case this beautiful garden here what do you think about this one and now the highlight of the oppo find x6 pro the main camera one inch type sensor great background blur good hdr good stabilization uh, basically a very good vlogging camera 4k 30 without any issues and you can switch between all the lenses if you want to which is also quite nice so let's try this we go to the ultra wide angle we have a zoom slider here so i can zoom out to the ultra wide angle this is the ultra wide angle also very large sensor so 101.5 inch which is i think a pretty large sensor for an ultra wide angle so what do you think about this one here uh, can show you surroundings perfect for vlogging as well and if you want to zoom in on something let's try to zoom in on something so let's go in here and let's zoom on this little bird tree roof at least that was a bird tree once one time i think it should have switched lenses and at uh, roughly 2.8 times it's switching lenses as well so the three times zoom and we can go up to i think 15 times there you can see the 18 times actually the yeah there was a birdhouse once and this is the roof of the birdhouse what do you think about this one here this is now the p60 pro and this is 15 times zoom in 4k 30 frames per second uh, as you can see here yes uh, 4k 30 um 4k 60 would work also on the on this uh, lens here but uh, not on the ultra wide angle let's zoom in back here to roughly 10 times this is what you get with 10 times i think it's quite okay as well maybe a little bit more details here because we have a three and a half times zoom uh telezoom lens that will switch now at four times to the one time lens that we have now at uh, one times and this is what you can see here on the huawei p60 pro by default it's using the f2 aperture but you can also go to the f1.4 aperture which gives you a nicer background blur but then also some focus issues sometimes i noticed this on the mate 50 pro and they didn't seem to improve it on the p60 pro probably is a much too shallow depth of field that you get with this very large aperture what do you think and this is now the lens wide open at f1.4 so what do you think about this one here sometimes it yeah focus hands a little bit but otherwise i think it is uh, giving you also nice background blur here with this uh, smaller sensor on the huawei p60 pro so i can go to the ultra wide angle that is quite nice so i can zoom slide down here to the ultra wide angle as well this is even a bit wider than the one on the oppo so what do you think about this one here stabilization hdr should be fine as well and uh, yeah what do, you, what do you think which one do you prefer especially when it comes to the colors and so on um i have to say i'm used to huawei i like it very much but the oppo is no no slouch either it's very very good and uh, yeah which one do you prefer in terms of videos 
So we start with the photos on the left always the Oppo Find X6 Pro, on the right always the P60 Pro. What we can see here, a darker exposure, especially in the foreground on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. The P60 Pro has a bit more uh, raised up the shadows here, but also has a bit of issues with the highlights that are a bit more overexposed than on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. What we can see here also is an uh, algorithmical difference. The P60 Pro in the main lens is applying much, much more sharpening, where the Oppo Find X6 Pro is much, much more natural. You can see it especially here in the trees, where it looks just a bit ugly on the P60 Pro in comparison to the Oppo Find X6 Pro, where it was uh, kind of a surprise to me actually to see this here. So here I would give the win definitely for the more natural kind of photo and look to the Oppo Find X6 Pro. When you come to the ultra wide angle, again, the same kind of thing. We have a bit of overexposure, a bit more raised shadows on the Oppo, uh, on the P60 Pro, a bit more keep uh, kept in, in, in control. The highlights here, the X6 Pro, the Oppo Find X6 Pro. Uh, this is 15 millimeters, this is 30 millimeters, so wider angle of view, more dramatic kind of view on the P60 Pro. Uh, shadows are a bit more brightened, a bit more softer here as well. Uh, in terms of detail levels, a bit more sharpened up now on the Oppo Find X6 Pro, where the P60 Pro keeps it more real. And just the bluish kind of tint here is a bit of weird, but I only had it in one shot. Otherwise, the detail levels here on the Oppo Find X6 Pro is a bit better, but it has the narrow field of view. So overall, I would say almost equal. Yes, the better shot, definitely the Oppo Find X6 Pro with more details and uh, less overexposure. The P60 Pro, more dramatic kind of shot, more natural kind of sharpness, um, slightly bit overexposure here. So equal out. When it comes to the zoom shots, very interesting of my puppy here, you can see that three against three and a half times native zoom, the uh, P60 Pro, it delivers a sharper image, a more lifelike image. The puppy is more alive. You can see also here the nose and the, the front of the nose, the little details here that the Oppo Find X6 Pro cannot keep up with. Also, I think the slightly bit warmer kind of look helps again on the P60 Pro. When it comes to selfies, I like the Oppo Find X6 Pro here on first lens a bit better, a bit warmer kind of color here for sure. But when you zoom in, you can see that it is very soft. It's 32 megapixels, very soft, not so much detail. The P60 Pro definitely with its 30 megapixels, sharper, over sharpened, but a little bit more detailed, a bit more lifelike, I would say, on the P60 Pro. And uh, yeah, I would give the win to the P60 Pro here. When we go to the uh, bokeh mode, the Oppo Find X6 Pro, look at this. It's just a completely different day, isn't it? <laughs> completely overblown, over punchy, over coldness. Uh, of the bluish uh, color here on the Oppo Find X6 Pro definitely loses against the P60 Pro that's kept, kept its warmth and yeah, definitely a win for the P60 Pro. When it comes to night times, the Oppo Find X6 Pro keeps the highlights HDR intact here and you can see also the processing of the P60 Pro. Ooh, there's some weird kind of things, artifacts going on. Much more natural on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. The one inch sensor is just simply very, very good. We have here a slight color difference and more details than on the P60 Pro. Selfies again, night and day difference. P60 Pro illuminating the screen. Oppo Find X6 Pro doing the same, but it's just for some reason only illuminating this little part here. The rest it keeps somehow blue for some reason. And yeah, we have a bit of magenta kind of tone here in the background, but at least my face looks nice uh, and sharp and detailed and P60 Pro all the way. Nighttime versus two hours before. No, it was the same time when I took the photo, but the P60 Pro is like raising the shadows so much that you can see much more details here in the dark. And it looks like it was uh, been has been taken two hours before, but it was taken at the same time, uh, or roughly at the same time. And you can see detail levels almost on par. I'm surprised the P60 Pro can keep up here with the one inch type sensor or the Oppo Find X6 Pro in terms of details. Yes, the processing is a bit weird on the P60 Pro, sometimes smudging out a little bit of the details there that make it look like a bit better. But here you can see a little bit of more details in the, in, the, in the tire because it's just raising the shadows a bit more and especially here when it comes to the cars and look at the seat it's just completely black here so yeah I would give the nighttime shot here definitely also to the P60 Pro um, because of more details that you can see here in the night shot otherwise more realistic shot on the Oppo Find X6 Pro um, yeah you can tell me what you prefer uh, when it comes to the zoom shot, uh, very surprised that the P60 Pro can keep up with the larger sensor on the zoom lens on the Oppo Find X6 Pro, three and a half versus three times zoom. Oppo Find X uh, three times, three and a half on the P60 Pro. You can see, yeah, a bit cooler here on the P60 Pro, a bit warmer on the Oppo Find X6 Pro in terms of detail levels. Uh, here the text, I think maybe a bit, a bit, yeah, maybe a bit more artificial looking on the P60 Pro. But this is this is nitpicking. It's it's better on, uh, it, it's not better. It's like on par. 
at night time. Uh, where the Opel Finding 6 Pro definitely wins at night time is the ultra wide angle. Yeah, more dramatic kind of view on the Opel P60 Pro because we can see a little bit more. I think also here a little bit more colors, but it's a bit blooming there already. And I think keeping the highlights intact, the Opel Finding 6 Pro is winning a bit. Yeah, it's a bit brighter here in this area, but look at this bluish kind of dots that you can see everywhere. It's like color noise that it reduct. Uh, and look at this. This is like this <laughs> is how it looks like or should look like there's a pattern on this um what is a pillow or whatever that is and uh yeah you and here also the pattern on this uh cup on this mug uh, you can see more of it and here it's like the algorithm on the p60 pro is very aggressively doing something there also the text here almost unreadable on the p60 pro here so definitely win for the oppo find x6 pro for the ultra wide angle when it comes to macro shots both automatic mode you can see that the oppo find x6 pro somehow get away i'm not sure if it's utilizing the ultra wide angle for this shot but also nothing is really in focus even though it has co focus confirmation but take a look at the colors you can see more realistic colors on the oppo find x6 pro by default but the p60 pro too red but you can go with the P6 Pro to the Pro mode and then correct it and then it has more accurate colors than the Oppo Find X6 Pro and a little bit more details there as well because it has the switch to the macro mode um, utilizing I think the ultra wide angle the Oppo Find X6 Pro can also go to the micro mode utilizing the ultra wide angle and then you have more details even a bit further away you have to be than on the P60 Pro but you have also a bit more details there for sure then uh, so which one do you like and prefer a bit more but let's go to the real macro sensor of the p60 pro which is definitely the tele macro sensor here and compare it with the open find x6 pros uh, ultra wide angle as close as i could get uh, to have something in focus there it's a night and day difference first of all cooler image on the open find x6 pro and the p60 pro just like looks like a dslm dslr or some kind of look and I like it was not focusing here completely where here I think it nailed it somehow but you can see even with this not really in focus the th stuff that was in focus the little hairs here and so on it's something so much details on the p60 pro definitely macro capabilities on the uh, p60 pro better also colors better look at the Oppo Find x6 pro if I go to the main camera sensor how much warmer this looks like this flower and yes the uh, p60 pro has the right color here uh, when it comes to the one inch type sensor usually I prefer the one inch type sensor on the Oppo Find X6 Pro but the P60 Pro with its smaller sensor can also have a nice bokeh just like this and here I prefer also the colors on the P60 Pro with more realistic because I was in the shadow I wasn't in the sun it was it's a citrus kind of lemon and not like an orange and uh, for some reason the Oppo Find X6 Pro decided to make it look like an orange and sharpness level on par bokeh yes you can argue it's a tiny bit better more natural looking on the Oppo Find X6 Pro but the bokeh is almost the same as on the P60 Pro uh, so yeah the variable aperture is doing its thing and I like the, both of them and uh, yeah both are good action mode however is a clear win for the Oppo Find X6 Pro with the zoom in shots here the action mode is like super soft on the P60 Pro and definitely sharper on the Oppo Find X6 Pro you can see here the puppy and the eyes more lifelike I can get more shots I have more details in the shots it's a night and day difference the P60 Pro with its uh, tele zoom lens forget about it it's simply uh, the shutter lag is like so high that you cannot get a sharp shot when the the dog is moving if it's like standing even then if you have the snapshot mode enabled so which is the action mode on the p60 pro it's just so so soft it's just like night and day difference there and um, yeah even if you get some shots it's so soft and compare this to the upper phone x6 pros the main the, the the zoom lens is working much better the main lens even better and uh, when you switch to the main lens on the p60 pro yes you get a bit more details but it's no comparison to the Oppo find x6 pro in this kind of uh, shots it's just simply look at the eye look at the detail it's a dslm mic and here it's just a, no, it's not there it's not it's simply not there this is so good so much better the action mode on the find x6 pro in comparison to the p60 pro uh, let's go to another zoom test of this shed first of all colors I like the colors of the p60 pro again a bit better it's a bit too cool on the Oppo Find X6 pro a bit too dark on the Oppo Find X6 pro it's not realistic on the Oppo Find X6 pro it's maybe a little bit too 
greenish looking on the P60 Pro. It's a bit should be a bit more yellowish kind of looking uh, on the P60 Pro here. And uh, we have overblown highlights, which we don't have so much on the Oppo Find X6 Pro main lens, uh, um, the zoom lens, three times uh, versus three and a half times here. Bit of blooming on the P60 Pro, more details on the Oppo Find X6 Pro, which is very interesting. So yeah, which do you prefer? This is six times, six times shows already a little bit of problems in artificial looking image. Now 10 times against 10 times. Warmer kind of color on the P60 Pro, overblown for sure, blooming, but this here is like uh, the high dynamic range on the Oppo Find X6 Pro is non-existent here. In this case, it's totally blowing, uh, blowing this out. Sharpness level and so on, on par, I would say, processing. This year keeps more blooming and it's a bit softer on the P60 Pro, where here it's sharpening up things a little bit more on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. Uh, almost on par, I don't see much of a difference there. 30 times zoom, almost the same, this overblown highlights here. A bit more details maybe on the Oppo Find X6 Pro where here it's smudging out things a little bit more. But uh, yeah, overall, I would say it's equally good or bad in this case. So yeah, which one do you prefer? Um, it's hard to give a winner here, to be completely honest. But overall, I like the P60 Pro a tiny bit better here. Um, the ultra wide angle, not the best. The Oppo Find X6 Pro is a bit better. The main camera sensor, usually I like the Oppo Find X6 Pro a bit better. The IMX 989 sensor. The P60 Pro can keep up, however, with its uh, large aperture as well, if you want to. More realistic colors all over the place on the P60 Pro, which is very interesting. And the zoom shots of human subjects and dogs are looking a bit better on the P60 Pro, as well as the telezoom macro camera and the selfies better on the P60 Pro. But yeah, I could argue that the main camera sensor, if you want to take photos mainly with the main camera sensor, then the Oppo Find X6 Pro probably has more natural kind of look also for the nighttime photography. If you want a bit more artificial look, a bit more pump in the, in the tele, tele, tele macro camera and uh, good zoom camera for, for, for objects and uh, for subjects and uh, so human subjects or animal subjects, then the P60 Pro better, action shots, Oppo Find X6 Pro better. So overall, it's very hard to give a winner here, but um, it's a tiny margin because the tele macro I like so much, I enjoy so much on the P60 Pro, uh, where I would give it to the P60 Pro here. But overall, it's so rounded up that uh, it is really, really, really close together. And even closer after the update of the Oppo Find X6 Pro, uh, with, uh, that, that helped tr uh, tremendously with um, the action mode. Um, I would give um, it almost an equal with a tiny bit more preference towards the P60 Pro because it won the selfie category and the tele macro, the macro cap, uh, category for sure, where the Oppo Find X6 Pro truly only won the main camera, uh, the, the main camera here for sure, and uh, ultra wide angle in, in, in nighttime. Um, yeah, what do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything uh, for the photo comparison here. So which one do you prefer, the P60 Pro or the Oppo Find X6 Pro? I definitely like the main camera sensor on the Oppo Find X6 Pro for sure. The ultra wide angle also, but the telezoom on the P60 Pro is, yeah, this, this tele macro lens is so genius, I would say, that I really, really like this a bit more. Uh, what about the videos? Which one went on there? Nighttime photography? Write it down in the comment section. By the way, if you want to have camera samples, you can donate to me and I will give you a link to the camera samples so you can uh, take a look at them one by one, side by side, on your own if you want to. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.